What is up guys, today we are back with another squad builder. Today we've got a cheap squad for you, Netherlands related. The entire team is full of Holland players. They're from different leagues and they are, to be fair, it's a pretty damn good team. Played three or four games in this team, didn't lose a single game. But guys, today what I want you to do is I want you to spot the Netherlands players in the videos. Not the ones that I'm putting into the team physically, but the ones that are popping up randomly dotted around the screen. Count them, see how many you get at the end. Drop a comment down below to enter a giveaway. And yeah, let's, let's have fun. Let's try and get, I don't know, let's go crazy. Let's... Let's try and get five likes on this video. I'm not. I don't know. If, I don't think we can do that. Actually, yeah, yeah that's, that's far too high. But let's get into this team. As you can see, it's the 4-3-3 formation, okay? So that means we've got CDM holding up the two centre mids, which allows them to go forward a little bit. In goal, we're just going to start off with Jasper Sillison, the guy who is the regular starter for the Northern squad now, although Tim Krull is pretty good. As you can see there, we do get a nice double save with him. At the right back, we're going to stick in Gregory van der Veel. He's a solid right back. He has been for many years, and he's 900 coins. That's dirt cheap for a pretty solid gold right back. Um, there is a couple of other players that you could have, but Van der Veel just seemed to be the guy who was, you know, the top guy. First centre back I want to go for is Rekic. Um, I think that's how you say his name, Rekic. It sounds right. But anyway, he used to play for Manchester City. A couple of my man, my Manchester City fans um, have actually told me that that they're pretty gutted that he left. Specifically, one guy I talked to quite a lot because apparently this guy's really good and young in real life. So. It's a shame that he's no longer there, but he's pretty solid on FIFA. I enjoyed using him. We've got Congolo as the other centre-back now. Mainly what I did with this squad is I looked at the centre-backs. I looked to see which had the most pace. I'm not going to lie, and we stuck them in. And Congolo was pretty good. He's pretty damn quick as well. There's a lot of non-rare and lower-rated goal centre-backs for Holland. They don't seem to have this insanely good goal centre-back. Left-back, oh my days. Look at this for a strike from the left-back here. He's one of these players that has worked his way up the FIFA rankings in terms of silver to gold recently. Last year, I think maybe even the year before, he's a silver, but he's a solid 78 left back now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he carries on improving in the future. Um, amazing player. Centre defence in mid, we've got Daly Blind now, who has been playing centre back sometimes as Manchester United have been playing him this year. But on FIFA, he's a CDM, and he's a pretty solid CDM at that. Basically, he had the Morgan Schneiderlin role in yesterday's video. If you haven't seen that, go back check that out, it's basically the same player, just a bit cheaper. Um, the first centre mid we've got is uh, Leroy Fair, he's in one of these player brackets, they've got everything, they've literally got everything, he's got a little bit of pace, he's got strength, he's got dribbling, good at tackling, good at shooting, he's literally, he's got the whole package, he's worth status 70, that is insane. So, we're going to move on to the second centre mid now, and it's actually going to be a cam, it's going to be Wesley Schneider, 1,900 coins for a 84 rated player. Why is he so cheap? I don't know. Maybe it's because he's in a, a kind of awkward league. Although you can make an insane Turkish league squad and you can stick him in it. I don't know why he's so cheap. He just is and he's quality. So right forward or right wing should I say. We've got Prom there. A lot of people have called him the the cheaper version of Robben. And to be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if a few people have done videos on that. But he's insanely good. Look at the pace that he has got here. Here. Juan Jesus, or whatever you call him, the centre-back, he is not the slowest guy in the world. And Promes has just absolutely burnt him off. Like He's got his blinders on, burnt him off, completely left him behind. At left forward, we're going to go for uh, Jermaine Lenz. I have to admit, I've fallen a little bit in love with this player on this game. I didn't think he would be as good as what he was, but he's just his quality. We've scored two goals with him. He's really quick. He's pretty damn good as well like, in terms of strength. 70 physical is not bad for a winger. Usually when you have these really quick wingers, they lack in strength, but Len Lenz and um, Promnes, they're both epic. And we've got Van Persie up front now. When I first started using him, me and my friend decided that you know he wasn't that great, but then I literally did this two seconds later. And what I realised was I was playing with him wrong. I was trying to do the typical, oh, we've got a pacey, good dribbling striker up front, when in theory I should have been shooting left, right and centre with him because he's got a rocket of a left foot. So there's a tip for you if you're going to use Van Persie in the squad. But guys, that is the end of the squad build. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let's try and get those five likes like I asked for. If you are new to this channel, make sure you do subscribe as well. There's going to be plenty of other videos coming up in the future featuring some real life football if you want to see that make sure you do comment down below also there's going to be a few collabs with different youtubers and a pretty unique pack opening series that i'm going to be bringing out as well soon so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time